So everybody, I have a new package. This might be a long video, just be prepared, but it's an unboxing. There's two vehicles in this. There's two vehicles in this box. Let's start with this one. As you see, it's the stadium truck version of the Stinger. I'm probably going to have to put eight uh, ball bearings in the hubs, front and back. I hope I have enough, or I'm going to have to buy some, but that's okay. I probably won't run it until I get them. Uh... As you see, it says frequency 2.4 gigahertz, digital trimming, steering, dual rate, adjustment, endpoint adjustment, two-wheel drive, steel axle shaft, bevel gear type differential, high efficiency transmission systems, slipper clutch drive system, and it tells you the length. This box is 4.1 pounds. It says ESC 40 amp waterproof brushed. Waterproof and dustproof automatic throttle range calibration, overheat protection, and throttle signal loss protection. RS550 high torque motor, six kilogram servo, so it's on the weak side, but probably should be higher, but okay. So the free car can't complain. Uh, at 4.8 volts, the servo is 0.16 seconds. Uh, at 4.2 kilograms at 4.8 six volts it's 0 0.14 seconds six and a half kilograms so i would assume it's over seven with the 7.4 going through it of course i if i'm wrong how that works or is it only separate with the 7.4 and makes only six volts going through the servo but i've heard that the more power you run a car the higher the torque the motor the servo might get but i could be wrong about that too
Easy access quick release battery tray, performance slipper system, metal gears, durable steel, axle shafts, low CG main chassis layout, fully loaded with high impact resistant plastic components, precision metal ball bearings included in gearbox, big bore oil filled coil over shocks, front and rear double wishbone suspension, high torque servo saver. Wow. This is in Delaware, uh, Ohio that they, uh, that they uh, that their place is at. And it's got their phone number and everything. And there's a place called Delaware County and the town I guess is Delaware. And I think I might have been around there before. It's southeast of here, I think. Cuz I'm live in Ohio. Same radio. Four of them. Has, uh, it comes with uh, stuff for the shock cap, the shocks. Directions for the radio, a decal sheet, I hate exploded views, they're hard to follow. But looks like it's got CVDs in the back as you see here. I think those are CVDs, it could be wrong. No, maybe just dog bones. Gearbox exploded view.
Wow, these uh, clips are kind of hard to remove. Don't want to scratch the body before I even use it. These pins really are sticking in there good. the interior suspension is good these tires except for the rears these front tires are the same as my I think they're very close to the same tires that are on my uh, phase on voltage front tires so, but from Arma, those rims are the same though. The rims are the same pattern. So, if they still have, these are like 20 buck a piece or more per pair here, tires, I could get them for my phase on voltage. At least the mat pattern of the rims would match. Front tire almost completely matches, but this would give me better traction in the dirt than what I have on my car now. Or what it came with. Just to let you know. So these, this, these shocks these would easily fit my uh, Arma phase on voltage. I think you could actually put them on the car. So... Definitely would be faster than my armor voltage. It's supposed to do about 25 miles an hour. Uh, and it uses a 20 turn at 540. But this is a 550. I hear they never gave you a turn motor. They never gave you a turn for the brushed motor on this car. But people say it's a 12 turn. So it's definitely faster. I think uh, the buggy with... Uh, and, uh, and these are 3S capable. I don't think the 3S batteries I have would fit this. You need soft packs to fit this car, though. But you could put a 3S in here. And uh, the Stinger does like 28 miles an hour with a 7.4. And it will do uh, 35, possibly, with uh, a 3S. So I gather it's about the same speed. These are also... Unlike the Phazon tires have foams in them. These are foamed. So let me get this car situated and we can get on to the next one.
almost seems as hard to put them back on as it was to take them off. I think I just scratched the body with the pin. These are based on a sun. Don't forget there's a yellow and black one from the Jags. But it was a different type of sun. It says four wheel drive, centered shaft, uh, center shaft drive train for more. Power transfer to the wheels, highly efficient transmission system, wide range, easily Changeable gearbox design. Five millimeter hardened steel axle shafts. Slipper clutch drive system. Front rear planetary gear type differential. It's pretty much the same length as the whole shot. But it weighs 4.85 pounds. Deep dish 2.2 .2 inch real Monster truck wheels, monster truck V pattern tire, 55 by 136 by 74. Waterproof 1040. Shows the diff gears in the axle here. Those are metal. I hear the whole shot also has metal gears, metal gears in the gearbox. RS550 high torque motor, OEM by Mabuchi Motor, 12 uh, k metal gear servo. Okay, it's much slower servo than the whole shot. Uh, 0.26 at 4.8 volts, 6 volts uh, 0.23. I hope with a 7.4 it's uh, faster, but it's, I wonder if it'll drop below 20, 0.20. Says the digital timing and dual rate system and end point adjustments.
Mm. Nice smelling tires. I love the smell of tires from RC cars, most of them. Same radio. More of the same decals, of course the same uh, stuff for the shocks and bolts and allen keys, probably the same directions too. So, wow, it's oil-filled, eight shocks, but it's, well, they make a whistling noise, there are no foams in here. I guess some people with, the, with these uh, eight shocks, oil-filled dampers, you would uh, put softer sh uh, oil in them. Sure, it's a pain in the butt to uh, take them off, all four of them, and then empty them and put softer oil in them. But I know some people will do that. Fronts are hard to take off. Here's the interior. 